Serve. Serve. Our customers. customers. So eventually, you know where you were in the other room and the trains yeah. came around? Yeah. Oh, There's going to be a track. hole here. And this track right here is going to connect to this tunnel. And then there's going to be a <coughs> long table running the length of the center of this room all the way to here with a giant train yard. And I'm going to have a big station and everything. So when you come in the room, you're going to walk in here, and you're going to walk around, and you're going to walk through here. And then the other thing I'm going to do is build some platforms here so that the vertically challenged don't have to carry ladders with them because I get a lot of complaints. Oh, okay. Yeah, I can see. But I, you see, I like it high. Most people don't build their trains this high. Oh, really? They build it lower. Okay. But to me, it's, it's easy much to work cooler. On. Well, not only that, yeah, I can get underneath. Because look at the wiring. People have no idea. There are the thousands and thousands of feet of wiring that are under here. Can this go in the boat? And uh, in the what? The boat. Uh, no, because I have that disconnected. But the boat does smoke. Now, you're, how are you going right. to pay for this renovation? Uh, this? Yeah. Uh, sell some of Claire's jewelry oh. when she's not looking. Oh, okay. Yeah, that'll go over a big one. <laughs> right. Can this ship actually sink or can it float? That boat? Mm -hmm. I don't know what it can do. It's missing the bottom of its hull. So these little analog um, deals down here, how many amps do they put out? What's the most amperage they can put out? Four or five. Okay. <clears throat> Hey, so come here guys but they could run some low voltage lighting really nicely right yeah absolutely so this is the most important room in the house yeah I've already seen it. you have okay this now, is the workshop my problem is when Close my wife asked me to fix something and I say I don't know how to uh, she doesn't believe me stairs. these are stairs so uh -huh. you see those buildings that you saw this yeah. is what I do is I buy walls and stuff like this you see and then I cut them into different shapes and configurations I've got what's called a bandsaw and I cut the stuff and then I put it together and make different buildings that's my favorite thing in who Papa you know who needs buildings. to come here Papa needs to see this he would think it was something your else. your my, Julie's dad my wife's, wife's dad yeah well, you should bring him over oh, is this yeah, he'll be here in April this is a uh, Dremel tool and I use it for shaping and sanding stuff. He likes to play with wood. Oh, then he, so this is the trains that run outside. Do you see this? Yeah. These are the big trains that I run outside. And we're going to go look at the outside railroad. But you're going to have to come back when I've got that up and running. Oh, it's not running? No. Nah, I've got to clean the track and do a whole bunch of stuff. Wow. Now, wait, let me show you one other thing here that's very cool. This engine up here is a real steam engine. It works where everything you've been looking <coughs> at is a pretend engine. You know, it's supposed to be a steam engine, but it runs off electricity. That's real steam. God, is that dusty. Uh, it's a real steam engine. You build a fire in it, and it builds up steam. It works on butane. Wow. And it's radio controlled. Can it's you very work it cool. in there? Huh? Can you work it in there? Outside, it, it works on the, on outside, the outside track. It's a different, it's, it's a different shape. size track. It's shape. All right, let's yeah. go outside. There's a steam engine. See, I've got a lot of train books. I bet you really love trains. You think? <laughs> You're a sharp person. Come on, let's go outside, guys. My dad made me wear green. Oh yeah. Now, whose dad did you say you should have uh, Ju bought? Was well, it his dad? No, no. Ju well, yeah, but he has. He had to watch the babies. Okay, so today, whose dad? My, my wife's dad. Your wife's dad. Yeah. Now, where does he live? He lives in Seattle. He oh. lives in. Uh, actually, he lives in Bellingham, Washington. Two thirds.